Hello guys and girls! Today I want to quickly go over a tutorial on how I make colored pencils in Photoshop. And here are a couple examples of what I've done. And I was just working on this one right now. But for now I will delete these. And this is a 1500 pixel by 1500 pixel document. And the first thing that you want to do is create a new layer and use your rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to zoom out for a moment. And just make a rectangle about that size. And I'm going to fill mine with green. Control D to deselect. And the first thing that I'm going to do is use my burn tool. And holding down shift, I'm, use I'm going over the highlights with an exposure of 100%. Holding down shift, I just go like that. And next, I'm going to use my dodge tool and going over the shadows at 80%. And these are both hard brushes. I'm just going to go over that like that. Got a little too much there in my taste. Okay, so now we make a new layer, and I'm going to use my pen tool by pressing the P key, and I'm going to zoom in kind of close. And on this corner, click, this corner, click, and try to find the middle, click, and close up the path. Right click, make selection, click OK. So we have a new layer here, and we want to fill it with kind of a tan color. I'm using FEE054, Alt, Backspace, and you fill it that way. Now I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool again, hold down Alt, and this will subtract from my original selection. So now I'm just left with that. Now I'm going to hit my I key for my eyedropper to get my green back, or I guess I could have um, just went back over here, but now I'm going to go back to this layer. Well first, I can delete that. So I deleted the tip on the wood textured layer. I'm going to go back here and fill it with green. Control D to deselect. And now I can burn the tip and dodge the tip a little bit. Burn. Just, just a little bit. There we go. Now I want to do the same to this, this wood texture. If I go over it like that, it's a little dark for me. So I'm going to lower the exposure down to 85%. Maybe make a little softer brush. Still a little dark. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to use my dodge tool. Do this side. And that's a little dark. And there we go. So we have our first pencil. And if we need to, I kind of like to use my eraser and erase just the corners of these. Make them look a little, a little more rounded. If you need to on your on the top here, you can as well. Okay, so now with these two layers, I'm going to duplicate both of them. And using my direct sele or my selection tool, drag one to the side. And just using this, now I'm going to go to hue and saturation in the adjustment layers. And I could change it any color that I want. Now both of them are changing right now because I have to create a clipping mask first. So any color that we want. Maybe I'll pick... What do I like in here? How about a blue? 
that blue right there that looks good go back to my layers and create clipping mask and there we go notice this layer up here is above it so it doesn't get changed the color doesn't get changed so you only want to apply the hue and saturation adjustment level to this to this layer and then you can go ahead and I can merge these layers and I can name them blue then I would duplicate these again and just drag them wherever I wherever I like and you can Well, you can um, kind of twist them and put words, of course, all sorts of fun stuff. You can also give a drop shadow. I'll show you how I did that quick. I'll make a new layer just above our background layer and use my pen tool. Click about right here. To right here, there, there, and there. Right click, make selection, okay. Fill it with black, control D, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Bump it up to wherever you see fit. kind of like right there click OK and then lower the opacity I'm gonna move mine down a little bit so there that looks pretty good and then you can go ahead and duplicate that shadow and and move it over to your next pencil and there you go that's how you make colored pencils in Photoshop please rate comment and subscribe